not too hot, not too cold. All of the milk products are fine. Always drink something with small sips. That's the only rule. It is liquid and solid separation. If you don't like, you don't have to eat, of course. Sweets, desserts, cakes, chips, chocolates. If you need help, always contact with us. This is the most important part of it. Hi everyone, I am dietitian Zeynep. Today we are going to talk about nutrition after gastric balloon. After balloon placement, you can have nauseousness, cramps, or you can vomit. It is very normal in the first day. Sometimes it can take one or two days, and sometimes it can take up to one week. To adapt the balloon easier, we recommend you to do liquid diet for four days. In this stage, everything should be in room temperature, not too hot, not too cold, and everything should be clear liquids. For example, you can consume 100% organic fruit juices, but we don't recommend you to consume acidic fruits such as orange, mandarin, kiwi, pineapple, berries, because these kind of fruits can increase the acidity of your stomach and it can be very uncomfortable for you. But like this one, apple juice, peach, apricot, mango, these kind of fruit juices are fine, but it should be no sugar added. It is the important part. The other option in the liquid stage is is milk products. All of the milk products are fine. Milk, kefir, iron, actimel, or if you like plant-based milk, you can consume also almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk. But if it is plant-based milk, it should be sugar-free. And if it is cow milk, it should be lactose-free for four days. If you want to drink soup, you should stay away from ready-made ones, but you can prepare yourself a chicken broth or meat broth at home. It is not like a normal chicken soup, but only the boiled chicken's liquid part will be fine. We don't recommend you to add onion, garlic, spices, tomato, tomato paste, lemon and oil until the 10th day because these kind of foods can also increase the acidity of your stomach and in the first days it will disturb you. But you can put some chicken or meat or bone in water, you can add some salt, carrot, zucchinis, but after boiling you should separate the solid parts, you can drink only the liquid part. If you want to drink tea, you can, but it should be in room temperature and diluted with water. Coffee and green tea is forbidden in the first four days because these are high in caffeine and you don't need caffeine in the first days. And if you want to drink herbal teas, you should stay away from peppermint, lemon, acidic teas, but you can drink fennel tea, linden, chamomile, these kind of herbal teas are fine. And of course, the most important liquid is water, you should drink at least one and a half or two liters a day. In this liquid stage, you don't have portion size or meal timing, but you should always drink something with small sips. That's the only rule. Between 5th and 10th days, you have pure diet. Everything should be mashed or blended like baby foods. And starting from the 5th day, you have an important rule. It is liquid and solid separation. If you eat something, you should wait 30 minutes to drink something and vice versa. All liquids and solids should be separated because we don't want you to expand your stomach. This rule is not about only the balloon placement, but we recommend this rule to everyone. That's why we recommend to you also. In the pure stage for breakfast, you can boil your egg and mash it. It's gonna be soft. You can tolerate very well. Next to your egg, you can eat soft cheeses such as Philadelphia, mozzarella, cottage, feta. These cheeses are fine. And also if you like roasted peppers, after roasting, you can peel the outer layer. And if you mash it, it's gonna be soft. You can also eat that. The other option for breakfast is porridge. If you don't like, you don't have to eat, of course, but you don't have to eat eggs every day. Once or twice a week, porridge will be fine. And you can add some fruit purees on it. For lunch and dinner, fish is a soft meat, for example. Mashing will be enough. It can be tuna fish or other baked or grilled any fishes, but you shouldn't fry fishes. You can boil your chicken and shred with your hands in small pieces. You can eat like that. Or you can cook ground beef in a pan without adding any spices or tomato paste or oil additionally it will be fine you can consume but my recommendation is to start with white meat such as chicken and fish and in the last days of your puree stage you can start to consume ground beef next to your protein group we want you to eat some vegetable purees but potato and tomato is forbidden until the 10th day carrot zucchini mushroom eggplant peanut these are all fine to consume just boil 
doesn't match them, it's going to be fine. And the other important thing is you should have snacks because your portion sizes will be much smaller than it used to be and we should meet your energy and protein requirements during the day. And as a snack, you can have blended or mashed fruits. You can buy the ready-made baby foods as well from the markets or you can just mash the fruits at home or blend them, all fine. You can mix your fruits with yogurts but you shouldn't buy the ready-made ones because they contain sugar more than the fruit itself but if you buy plain yogurt or plain Activia probiotic yogurts you can mix with fruits at home this will be way healthier and by the way you don't have to eat something solid as a snack but you can consume liquids as a snack all milk products milk kefir iron actimel protein milks all fine to consume and it doesn't have to be lactose free anymore after 11th day your solid stage will start of course it is important to follow a healthy meal plan you should always give your priority to proteins such as egg cheese meat chicken fish turkey or legumes as a plant-based protein sources but of course it is important how you cook as well you shouldn't fry anything and you shouldn't use a lot of oil while cooking grilling is okay baking steaming boiling if you have air fryer it is also okay you can use these cooking methods and next to your protein group we want you to fill your plates with a lot of fiber sources such as vegetables and salad and carbohydrate group are not forbidden at all because removing a certain type of foods from our diet won't be sustainable but if you want to lose weight you should decrease the carbohydrate amount and of course it is important which carbohydrate you choose instead of white bread you can consume whole wheat bread or instead of french fries you can consume baked potato instead of white rice you can consume bulgur or buckwheat quinoa because they are higher in vitamins and minerals and whole wheat products by the way you should stay away from high caloric ready-made sauces such as ketchup mayonnaise or ready-made salad dressings if you want to eat salad you can add lemon and vinegar on it you can add one tablespoon of olive oil these are fine and we have some forbidden foods such as junk foods, sugar containing foods, sweets, desserts, cakes, chips, chocolates or fizzy drinks such as cola, Fanta, Sprite or energy drinks like Red Bull. If you want to lose weight, if you want to be healthy, you should stay away from them. You should always chew a lot and eat slowly. That's how you will understand you are full. In this weight loss process, we are always here with you and this is a very long journey. Please don't hesitate to ask your questions or if you need help, always contact with us. This is the most important part of your weight loss.